LaptopKey.com, your source for replacement keyboard keys. Notice, many times, laptop manufacturers produce keyboards that look the same on the outside, but have different retainer clips underneath the keys. To help you find the correct repair video for your keyboard, we've created a searchable database. Simply go to LaptopKey.com, enter your laptop brand and model number. Scroll down to the bottom of the page and click on View Videos. A list of all compatible videos will appear. Select the retainer clip model that matches your keyboard. That's all. You're now ready to repair your laptop keyboard. We will be demonstrating the removal and reattachment of the shift key for the wider keys, open bracket for the standard size, and print screen for the top row keys. You can use either a spudger a flathead screwdriver, or any similar tool of your choice. To begin with the removal of the shift key, take your tool and insert at the bottom corner, drive upwards towards the top, repeat for the opposite corner, and then drag along the top to detach the metal arm. Once you've done this, insert your tool back to the side and push upward and the key should remove. One of your clips may come loose, but if the other doesn't, simply take your tool and insert at the outside edge and press gently towards the side to detach the clip. To assemble the clip for the right side of the key, you will want the rounded edge on both the top and bottom clip facing to the left with a notch facing upward on the bottom clip and a opening for a notch facing downward on the top clip. Simply place the top into To assemble your clip for the right side of the key, you will want the right To assemble your clip for the right side of the key, you will want the rounded edge facing to the left on both the top and bottom clip with a notch facing upward on the bottom and an opening for a notch facing downward on the top clip. Simply press the two together, lining up the pin and hole. Then you will hook in towards the center, firm press towards the outside. For the left side clip, you will simply flip the clip around with the rounded edge facing towards the right, with the notch facing upward on the bottom clip, and the opening for the top facing downward. Join the two together. Hook in towards the center, firm press. To reattach the metal arm to the key itself, simply take the metal arm and line it up with the notches towards the very top of the key, making sure to click all three connection points in. You'll then flip upside down with the arms facing out and insert into the holes on either side. Firm press, and that key is fixed. For the removal of the standard size keys, simply insert your tool at the corners and apply gentle pressure until you hear a pop. Remove the key. To reassemble your clips, you will want the rounded edge towards the top on the bottom clip with a notch facing upward and the rounded edge on the top clip with a matching notch facing downward. Simply assemble the clips by inserting the notches on the top into the holes on the bottom. Then take the clip 
and hook from the top, insert to the bottom, replace your rubber cap if necessary, take the key, line it up, with a firm press, and the key is reattached. For removal of the top row keys, take your tool and apply pressure to the corners until the key removes itself. If the clip doesn't remove itself alongside the key cap, simply insert your tool between the two clips, apply pressure to the side, and remove. To assemble your clips, simply have the rounded edges for both the top and bottom clip facing to the left, with a notch facing upward on the bottom clip and an opening for the notch facing downward on the top. To assemble the clips, take the top clip and insert through the bottom and align the holes. Then return to the keyboard and hook on from the left across to the right, firm press down, replace your rubber keycap if necessary, place the key, firm press, and it is replaced.